Okay, so now we're going to look at writing our first test. This isn't actually going to test anything, but at least it's something that we can actually run on the command line. So this is pretty exciting if you've never written a test before. So over in the tests directory, we need to distinguish between different types of testing. Now we're covering unit testing in this series. So I'm gonna actually create a unit folder within here just to uh, separate all of my different types of tests out. We have things like unit tests, uh, we have things like acceptance tests, uh, which we're gonna cover in another series. So inside of this unit test directory, I'm gonna create our first test, and this is just gonna be called sample test PHP. So we obviously give this a PHP extension. It is a PHP file and inside of here we create our class and we extend the PHP unit framework test case. So let's go ahead and create this out and then we'll look at how we define our tests out. So let's say sample test. This needs to extend PHP unit underscore framework underscore test case. So notice the capitalization of everything here. But once you have this uh, later on in the series, we're just literally going to be copying this whole structure over. Now that is as simple as it gets. Let's just take a look at what happens if we try and run our tests now. So you can see here we get a warning, no tests found in class sample test. So at least we know that this is being run, but it's warned us that there are no tests in here whatsoever. So let's create our first test and we'll look at the structure of how we create a test. Later on, we're going to look at a slightly easier way to define these out. But for now, let's go ahead and stick with the convention. So we're going to say public function. We're going to prepend any method in here that we give, which are each of our tests. So every method you create is a separate test. And we're going to prepend this with test. And then we're going to give a very descriptive name of what we are trying to test. Now, later on, we're going to see examples of this, but try and keep these to readable human language describing exactly what you're testing. Now, in this case, I'm just going to test that the uh, Boolean true is true. So a very, very simple, pointless test, but it will give us an idea. So I'm going to say true asserts to true. So that is my test name. And I just define this out as a normal method. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. You can see that we actually get uh, an OK. One test has passed, but there are no assertions. So the key here then is what is an assertion? Well, an assertion is just asserting that something uh, ex uh, matches an expected value or does something you want it to do. Now, in our case, we can assert that the value true or the Boolean value true does assert to true. And to do this, we use any of the helper methods uh, or assertion methods that this class gives us. So in this case, we always say this, then we give the assertion that we want. So in this case, assert true. And of course, in this silly example, we're checking that true does uh, assert to true. So let's go over, run our tests again, like so, and we get, okay, one test, one assertion. So let's uh, make this fail, and then we'll move on to looking at actually testing some real life stuff. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and run this now, and you can see that we get a failure. So it will give us the output here. There was one failure. It will tell us the test that we're working in, and it will tell us the actual uh, method that we're working in as well. And it says here, failed asserting that false is true. Of course, that's the case because false isn't true. And of course, if we were to say assert false, that will again pass. So that is the most basic test we can write. We're going to change this over so it passes again. But now that we've done that, this is really in terms of each test we write as simple as the structure gets. There are other things that we can do and we'll be dis uh, discussing them throughout the course. But this is now your first test. And we have all green everything is passing.